Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 16th, 2020. So yesterday we had that ugly gap down, it was a little over 500 points and a gap down, but almost immediately the bulls came in and started clawing its way back to the upside and it was relentless all day long. There seems to be absolutely no concern now about the coronavirus. There seems to be no worries about the debt. There's no worries about well, pretty much anything. It's just buy, buy, buy. Bankruptcies don't matter. Buy, buy, buy. And what we've got going on now is this claw back up toward this gap. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, maybe a snack, and let's settle in for the morning market prep video for Tuesday, June 8, 16th, June 16th. So an interesting situation yesterday where we had, you know, bankruptcies. We heard from uh, Planet Fitness that they were declaring bankruptcy and the stock rallies and it's gapping up this morning. This morning we hear about 24-hour fitness um, declaring bankruptcy and that stock is looking higher this morning. Um, we hear about coronavirus cases rising and um, the market rallies back. We hear of all kinds of turmoil in, between U.S. and China and North Korea kicking its heels up. And we're rallying this morning huge. So what's going on? Well, Right before the close yesterday, the FOMC announced that they are going to create a $750 billion operation in a, in a historic move. They're going to be buying bonds directly from companies. So what does that mean, the buying bonds? Well, essentially what they're doing is the, the federal government is now buying debt directly from companies in an attempt to support these companies so kind of an interesting situation so um let's go to the dow if we take a look at the dow from our low yesterday to our morning gap up and we're going to gap up right into that june 11th gap down we're gapping up into here we have a swing of essentially 1,400 points. In yesterday's gap down, between yesterday's gap down and this morning's gap up, basically 1,000 points in swing in just the gaps alone. Pretty remarkable volatility, and um, it's, it's a remarkable thing to be watching right now. So let's take a look at the technical, see if we can make some sense out of this. What we're looking at this morning is we're looking at a gap up that will challenge this massive sell-off day, June 11th, that big gap down that occurred right here. So... Even though um, Corona continues to rise and issues are, are going on there, we are choosing to um, follow the debt um, that we're creating in the FOMC. That apparently, there's no issue that the FOMC can't write a check for and cover. And that's what's going on here this morning. We're rallying back into that gap. Now, what happens from there? I can't tell you. Um, I don't think anybody can really um, say with any confidence that there's anything that you can hang your hat on here in volatility that swings a thousand points in a day, just in the gaps. And <clears throat> What what happens next is anyone's guess. But if we take a look technically um, and hold on here, we've got a hold of this longer term trend. We broke the shorter term trend. We're pushing back up into price resistance levels in the chart. And we have this gap above. We have an island reversal that we still have a challenge with in the chart. So pretty interesting situation here. And I got to tell you, it's it. Well, what do you do when you swing that far um, 
in the gaps. Um, there's no continuity to the price action here other than wild volatility. And that makes this a very dangerous market to be trading. But right now, um, we're keying off of all of the Fed spending. And so we are very, very bullish this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also looking to gap up here this morning and challenge that breakdown of June 11th. We're going to pop up into that area, try and challenge that. We still have that island reversal up here, but maybe that doesn't mean anything in light of the Fed's unlimited checkbook. We're still holding on to trend and we're still having those issues crop up around the world with uh, virus things spiking back up and China tensions, North Korea tensions, all those kind of things. But everything seems to be on track for a um, huge bullish move. As a matter of fact, markets around the world just hugely responded back on that uh, Federal Reserve action to directly buy debt from companies let's take a look at the cues qqq i apologize for my voice i've got a little bit of allergy thing going on this time of year and you can see <clears throat> the nasdaq we broke down broke this level of support that breakout of um over here in april we broke um excuse me february i said february in uh february we broke that and um now we've clawed that back yesterday so we clawed back right back up in here pushing back up and we're looking to gap much higher now the techs have been leading the market and they continue to lead the market um strongly and if we take a look at a trend in here we're holding that trend very very well so the bulls are certainly back in control really quickly on our moving average as you can see we really had no threat here of that 50-day moving average and although on our diamonds chart it looked like a um, high probability of a test there we're right back up here testing the 200-day moving average on the Dow and also on IWM we're rallying right back up to retest that 200 day moving average bouncing back up into the, that gap so pretty interesting situation overall here in the market there just seems to be a relentless move by the uh, by the Fed to just make sure that the market cannot fall um, again um, so um, pushing 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 back to the upside let's take a look at um, the VIX. What's interesting is our VIX pulled back hard yesterday um, in this move. We um, initially shot up pretty strongly here. We were up into the 40s uh, uh, in um, the VIX, challenging a resistance level here in the VIX, as you can see right across in here, a little bit of price resistance in that chart. So we were challenging that level, and now we're going to gap the other direction. So I'm guessing we're going to push this back down in here. We may be challenging the downtrend here as a level of support. Let's keep an eye on that, see if we find some support in there and bounce back up. I, You know, when we get gaps like this, I, I, I just don't even know how you... Uh, anybody comes in here and says they know what's going to happen because we can we could whip and reverse um, completely within the day on gaps like that. So watch that level of support in there. Pretty interesting situation forming up here in the VIX. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 did signal our very extreme overbought condition up here on the 11th when we um, sold off so heavily. Now our rally back has, we didn't get into the um, bullish reversal zone on this. And now our rally back this morning with the big gap up is likely going to take us right back up in here right likely take us right back up into that um, extremely stretched condition in the market um wow um kind of an interesting um situation without any stops in between um just gapping to um to that area so what comes next I got to tell you, as anyone's guess, um, I don't know what 
what um, what could occur here um, with such a massive gap into a um, <laughs> a massive gap into a gap of June eleventh? Um, what that's actually going to mean? Um, I do suspect that the bulls will be buying with both hands today. There seems to be nothing. <clears throat> that can hold back the bulls right now in the light of um, unprecedented spending by the FOMC. So what does that mean? Um, hold your nose, um, close your eyes, and just buy terrible stock, I guess, um, that uh, companies that are suffering that are um, in really bad condition, but buy it. I guess, because um, nothing seems to matter anymore. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And if we take a look at our economic calendar, we have a few things to be made aware of here this morning. Um, today we, doggone it, I keep picking up that window. Um, as you can see here, we um, have retail sales this morning. Um, I kind of suspect you know we're gonna see an increase over last month i believe in those retail sales that could easily fuel the market higher even though it's a terrible number um for retail it's an improvement over last month so that could fuel the market even higher uh, bad news is good news um, in this market right now um, industrial production is also looking for a an improvement over last month, it's still a terrible number, but um, uh, that once again could fuel the market. We have business inventories and the housing market uh, numbers here to pay attention to as well. And then we have Jerome Powell comments in Congress today, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. So a few things that could move us around. Um, I, I suspect that everything is geared to fuel things higher, even though these numbers are horrible numbers um, overall. Um, everything is geared to really fuel the market higher here uh, this morning because uh, everything's all about the FOMC. Let's take a look um, on our earnings calendar this morning. We don't have that many earnings today to really move the market around, but we do have some notables that we'll want to pay attention to. We've got about 23 or so companies reporting today, um, but we have Lennar, and Lennar raced higher um, heading into earnings this morning, so you can see Lennar moving up. Um, I don't think we have a report here this morning, but Lennar um, we'll be reporting today. Um, Oracle, Oracle also had a big popping move yesterday, heading into earnings, and it looks like Oracle is gapping up this morning on its results, um, looking good. Groupon, Groupon rallying this morning and also gapping higher. Now they've been a, a major beneficiary of the coronavirus with people ordering um, and and spending online, so. Uh, they've been a pretty good beneficiary of that, rallying up pretty substantially. We have H&R Block. H&R Block reporting this morning. Looks like they're gapping up this morning. Now, that may be just a function of the big gap. I don't know if they've reported or not. We have a nice little trend going on here in this gap up this morning. And um, I have one more on here um, that uh, I don't really... Probably shouldn't have put it on here as notable, but looks like um, MFA looks like it is gapping up a real estate investment trust. Well, one of the things that makes that interesting is, um, you know, the changes that we're seeing in real estate right now with a lot of companies making the decisions to just have people stay home. Um, it's going to be affecting real estate, but right now um, everything is bullish, so it doesn't really much matter um, what's going on in the world um, everybody's buying so keep an eye on MFA might be something to pay attention to so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a great day and hopefully you're bullish hopefully you've got um, uh, bullish positions in the market you're going to benefit greatly from that morning gap up remember in a gap up morning like this when we pop up really high it may be an opportunity to take profits one of the things you can 
you can sometimes see is what we call a pop and drop where we gap up into the morning and then sell off the rest of the day i can't tell you that that's going to be the case it may be a gap up and just run like crazy to the upside um, on this um, fomc spending I don't know, but I will say that we're going to be challenging some resistance levels in the chart. So make sure you um, think about that carefully. Gaps are gifts. You may want to take or unwrap that gift and stow that money away with this wild volatility that we're seeing in the market. So I wish you all a fantastic day. And um if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And um, if you find these videos to be helpful, if you could please do me a favor and click that um, a thumbs up button it and leave a brief comment. Um, I would appreciate that a ton and it helps continue to grow the channel. So thank you very much for everyone who does do that and takes the time to do that. You guys humble me with your comments um, every day and I truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up um, some interesting things out there in the market. And let's see if we can make some sense of what's going on in here. Take a look at Cisco. Now Cisco, I've been keeping an eye on Cisco pushed down pretty sharply here, as you can see, like everything else, but a nice strong rally back up and we're holding on to a pretty substantial level of support. This morning it's gapping up solidly. So we're gapping right back up in here to that sell off point. We might want to watch this. If this can uh, gap up and, and rest in here, there may be an opportunity to pick up that stock. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard buying up some of these stocks because everything's going to be gapping so far away from its price support or for, from a stop level. It may be really challenging today to pick up something that doesn't carry huge risk. But take a look at Cisco. There may be an opportunity there. Coca-Cola had a big rally back yesterday like a lot of stocks. One thing you want to watch on this uh, as this defensive sector stock, you know, we're gapping up into this area this morning, gapping up pretty solidly. So we're gapping into that price resistance. We'll want to watch that carefully in here. But if this is going to recover, we may get a little consolidation or a little pullback rest and a higher low and resume that uptrend in the chart. So keep an eye on that. We have lots of stocks out there with that big rebound back. Um, yesterday and a couple places that I think are worth looking at um, are in energy. Now we do have a problem here in the sense that in these charts we have this island reversal up here and we have these big gaps in here to deal with on that chart. So technically speaking we broke support in these in this trade. We broke down through price support and now we're trying to rally back as a typical course of action what i do is i require any stock that's broken support to rally back and prove to hold before i get too excited about buying but i gotta tell you i'm, I'm not sure rules matter in this market right now um, i can't even believe i'm saying that but uh, um it's just buy everything all the time. It really doesn't matter. So let's watch this in here. I'm still going to stick to my rules. And I can tell you that emphatically, I'm still going to stick to my rules. I'm going to wait for this to move back up, prove a higher low before I look in there for a trade. But we're looking pretty bullish in a lot of things here in a lot of sectors. So keep an eye on that. Stocks that held up really well overall are looking extremely good here this morning. We have um, we have uh, PayPal uh, that didn't sell off at all, pushing up higher here and trying to gap higher. That's looking really, really good overall. Keep an eye on that stock. Uh, PayPal looking good. Let's take a look at like SQ. 
SQ, beautiful hold in this trade, beautiful hold in its trend. And it is also gapping on up this morning, trying to push itself on out, looking really, really good. There's quite a few of those companies as well that you want to keep an eye on, looking pretty darn good. Take a look at ETSY Etsy. Etsy, um, nice bullish move yesterday, pushing higher. And you can see trying to gap up this morning, looking good. We have EA. EA had a beautiful move yesterday um, after this little pullback, just completely ignoring what's going on in the market. And this is one of those stocks that are beneficiaries of the stay at home policy. So um, um, EA moving higher. TTWO. Um, take two interactive nice pop yesterday moving on up after a consolidating move moving on higher may gap on through this morning so keep an eye on stocks like that lots of potential trades out there with full-on reversals that happened yesterday and um, we're continuing this morning so watch those closely so with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm running a little bit long on this video. I want to say thank you to everyone who watches the video and leaves those comments. You guys are awesome. I don't quite get what's going on here in the market, but I don't have to. All I have to do is follow along with the price action of the charts and I can make money. So can you. So please just stay focused on the price action of the chart. Be aware of the high volatility of this market and be prepared for a plan if things reverse because it can just certainly do that in about half a heartbeat. Everyone take care. Have a great day. Stay safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning.